All right. Yo, guys, what is up? It is Nick. This is take two of the final NBA breakdown. Granted, I don't win tonight, which which if it's anything like the last two weeks NBA, I will not win. My my breakdowns and my my research will all be good. I will just make one mistake like Andrew Harrison last night, and I will miss cash by two points or three points or whatever it is. And uh, I will just have wasted a bunch of my time and my money. So that's how it's gone the last few weeks. So it's been it's been real fun between Tyreek scratch night and then Dennis Schroeder scratch night. It's just been a whole whole lot of fun for me in NBA. But we're we're back at it tonight. Back at it tonight. Let's run through the injuries real quick. San Antonio just Kawhi. Washington just Wall. Denver, Devin Harris is probable. Gary Harris is out. Toronto, always rest possibilities with the Lowry and DeRozan, but nothing official yet. Uh, Chicago and Houston. Chicago, Levine out. Chris Dunn out. Zipser out. Markinen probable. Denzel Valentine upgraded from questionable, from doubtful to questionable. Antonio Blakeney out believe that's it robin lopez always rest potential or just dmp potential um and i believe that's i believe that's it they signed sean kilpatrick to a three-year deal team option after each year uh this year's is fully guaranteed uh moving on to houston luke emba mute out james harden out clint capella out um chris paul is questionable believe that's it uh, Nene, I guess, is always rest, but I think they would have rolled him out yesterday. Uh, for Cleveland, everybody good to go except the guys who've been out, Corver and Usman. Uh, Miami, Bam Adebayo, and Hassan Whiteside are out. Wade is good to go against LeBron. Um, I think that's it. Portland, Damian Lillard is still on baby watch. Other than that, they're good to go. Uh New Orleans, Miritich, and Rondo are questionable. And I think that's it for them. Dallas, half of the team is questionable. So we'll go through this. I'll show you. So they don't even have a marked here on DraftKings. That's how many. So Dorian Finney-Smith, Nerlens Noel, Dirk Nowitzki are all questionable. Seth Curry, Wes Matthews, and J.J. Barea are out. Then, not listed here, Dwight Powell, Yogi Ferrell... And Kyle Collinsworth were all question, and Salah Mejri. Salah Mejri, Kyle Collinsworth, the Ogie Farrell, and Dwight Powell were all questionable as well earlier today. I didn't see anything upgrading them, so I would still list them as probable for personal, like for my own. Uh, for Sacramento, Zebo is questionable, and Garrett Temple is out. Moving on to the last two games, the Pacers, DeMontis Sabonis is questionable. Everything else is good. For the Warriors, Curry, Durant, Caspi and Clay are all out. Draymond is doubtful with a flu-like symptoms, believe sore throat. Um, Quinn Cook is probable, and I think that's it. So Draymond is really out because he was questionable. He was question. He was doubtful yesterday. Got upgraded to questionable. Then he got upgraded from questionable to probable. Then back to questionable to now to doubtful. So uh, I'm gonna go with Draymond is out. Um, for Milwaukee, everything is good for Milwaukee except for Brogdon, who's been out. I believe Delhi is still out. I don't think he's gonna play. Yeah, he's he's he he's questionable, but I think Delhi's still gonna sit. Uh, for the Clippers, Gallo is questionable, but I think he's doubtful. Yeah, he got downgraded to doubtful during the day, uh, and so I doubt that Danilo Gallinari plays. So let's hop into my favorite plays of the day, though. James Harden is out. I'm going to try to go through these relatively quickly um, since this will be later uploaded since this is take two. Try to get through this a little bit quicker. Victor Oladipo, one of my favorite plays. Probably doesn't crack my cash game lineups. Like him much more on FanDuel where he's 8,500 and he gets the ad added bonus of blocks and steals against the Golden State Warriors team that likes to turn the ball over, especially when he's guarding Nick Young. Um, that's probably a built-in two steals. <laughs> Uh, Kyle Lowry, interesting, probably won't go there. Uh, Denver has given up the most fantasy points to opposing shooting guard or point guards uh, since the All-Star break, I believe. Uh, Chris Paul, 33% usage rate with no Harden or Capella. 
locking Chris Paul in on both sides. He's 8,400 on FanDuel. Lou Williams, I like him more on FanDuel than I do on DraftKings. He's 7,500 on FanDuel, which he has not uh, really disappointed that price in a while. I mean, like 30 is a disappointment on that price, but it's a lot less disappointing to get a 30 on FanDuel opposed to getting a 30 on DraftKings. Um, so... Lou Williams, much more FanDuel viable. Drew Holiday, much more DraftKings viable than FanDuel. Uh, I really like Drew, but I just don't know if he fits my lineup. Uh, like I said, Lillard is on Baby Watch. If I don't get definitive word that he's playing, I can't play him. I, I can't play him at an 8 o'clock start. If they played the 7 o'clock game, and I could wait all the way till 6.58, and then I could play him, and then really once the game starts, I doubt he leaves. I, I would assume... He would finish the game out, and then he would private jet back to his girlfriend. But I I just can't I can't do it. I love Lillard. I'll probably throw a GPP lineup with Damian Lillard just to play Lillard on possibly my last day. But I just can't play him without guarantee. I, I'm not getting another late scratch. It's not happening. I would rather lose tonight and have Lillard go for 90 than play Lillard and have him get scratched. I mean, I can't. I just can't do it. Uh, I like Beal. It's a much win. It's a must win game. He's only seventy four hundred. Much more viable on DK than Fanduel. I think the Fanduel options are a little bit better with Lou Williams and Victor Oladipo over there. Uh, but I like Beal, Eric Gordon. Much better on Fanduel. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what are y'all doing on Fanduel, dude. He's fifty six hundred. They just won't price him up. So lock in Aaron, Eric Gordon over there. Drogic is fine. I do like him. I like Murray below six or below seven k. Um, if I talk about a guy like at the point guard spot and he's also shooting guard eligibility, I'm not going to talk about him again at shooting guard. So just know you can play him at both spots. Um, so Jamal Murray, I like him under 7k. Uh, Quinn Cook, one of my favorite plays since Draymond is out. As long as I get word from the Warriors PR team, which we usually get it around four o'clock, five o'clock, um, they'll release an official statement stating Quinn Cook is in or out. Um, I'll go ahead and lock Quinn Cook in. I mean, it's a little risky. I mean, they have no incentive to play him. Um, I'm going to check the Warriors PR real quick. Just make sure they haven't said anything. Uh, let's see here. Warriors PR is one of the best uh, in the NBA. They do a great job of getting... Yeah, they haven't tweeted yet today. 14 hours ago, so that was about 1 a.m. Eastern. They tweeted that Quinn Cook is probable. Um, but other than that, they haven't updated it. So I'm just going to assume Quinn Cook's good to go. Uh, probably get late scratch there, and then Lillard will go for 90, and it'll be the ultimate kick in the nuts. Um, other than that, Campaign and Yogi Ferrell are interesting, but uh, I'm not playing anybody in this Dallas-Sacramento game. I'm just not playing a player in the battle of the tanking. Uh, Dwayne Wade, much better play on Fanduel at 4,800, but I do like him in the matchup against LeBron. Um, they should go at it for at least a little while. Other than that, not a huge fan of any of these cheap uh, point guards. If you're going to play any, it'd be Brandon Jennings, Devin Harris type guys, but I probably just won't go there. Maybe Kyle Collinsworth, but I just don't see the point of going there. Uh, moving on to shooting guard. So at the top, we have, uh, like I said, I'm not going to talk about the guys I already talked about. So my favorite guy, if Damian Lillard gets ruled out between now and three hours from now, uh, is CJ McCollum. I'll be locking him in everywhere if Damian Lillard gets ruled out, and we'll be locking in Shabazz Napier. So we'll take a quick look. What is Napier's price? He should be good to go. I think he, he's over what that issue was. Uh, so he's 3,900. Yeah, if Lillard gets ruled out, it's it's Napier night. It's welcome to Shabazz Napier. Some night's going to be welcome to Shabazz Napier night, and I'm going to have to play it because I like... I, I do... I really, I've done really well on Shabazz Napier nights, so... Uh, back to the important things, though. There's not many extra shooting guards that I like that weren't also point guard eligible. Not playing DeMar DeRozan. Chris Middleton is fine, but he's a little overpriced. Gordon, like I said, much better on FanDuel than he is on DraftKings. Uh, Will Barton is fine, but I don't think you have to go there. If Denzel Valentine plays, he's all right, but I don't think you have to go there either. Campaign, he's fine, but there's really nothing here until you get to Nick Young. He's fine, really score independent. Um, probably more of a FanDuel play in a DraftKing because on FanDuel you can survive a guy not getting 5x. On DraftKings you cannot survive a guy getting 5x. Like you're just dead on DraftKings at this point, really. If you don't have, if you don't have a guy get to 5x and he missed it by a lot. Like, if Nick Young goes out there and gets you 11 points tonight, you're kind of screwed. 
Uh, Gerald Green, favorite play on both sites. Um, locking him in on FanDuel. He's 3,700. What y'all, once again, what y'all doing, FanDuel? 3,700 for Gerald Green. Um, other than that, I th don't really want to play any of these guys. You can play ISO Joe, but doubt I go to ISO Joe. You can play J.R. Smith, but once again, doubt I go to J.R. Smith or Justin Holiday. I mean, those guys are viable, but I doubt I go there. Small forward, LeBron and Giannis, top two plays. Um, I, what, once again, what y'all doing, DraftKings now? What are you guys doing with LeBron? 11-6, really? But I will say they priced Brow down as well. He's only 11-3, so they, they did price him down. But what what are y'all doing with both of them? What are you doing? Uh, I think a LeBron is my favorite. He's a little safer than Brow. Uh, but I, I think I like Brow more on FanDuel because of the limitations you have on different positions. But... The blocks and the steals just don't mean as much on DraftKings, so it really hurts uh, Anthony Davis. Um, in order to hit value tonight, he's going to need 33 and 13, really, on, on DraftKings. If he would have gotten third, he hasn't really flashed crazy upside. Uh, the last crazy upside he flashed was against Charlotte, but he was playing reduced minutes um, when they were playing that 5 and 6. So he did play reduced minutes. He hasn't played like 39 or 40 in a while. Uh, the Pelicans still need to win, and this is kind of a big game against Portland. So we could see 40-minute Anthony Davis, which would uh, which would lead to potentially the higher-scoring Anthony Davis games. But uh, we haven't seen the 90-point Anthony Davis in a little while, so do with that what you want. I don't know why I'm talking about Anthony Davis right now. We're not to power forward. But Giannis, I like Giannis. You can pair LeBron, Giannis, and Chris Paul, and you have 4K left. If you play, if you combine LeBron, Anthony Davis, and Chris Paul, you have 3,800 left. So though it's all viable, but as small forward, none of these guys I like. Keep going down. Aminu, fine. Richardson, fine. Trevor Ariza, I already talked about Gerald Green. Trevor Ariza. So interesting note on the Rockets. They blew out the Pelicans by 23 in the last game. They were up 22 going to the fourth. And they closed with Gerald Green, Trevor Ariza, Tarek Black, Ryan Anderson, and Iso Joe Johnson. Uh, I would assume tonight, if they blow them out, they will close with Gerald Green, Iso Joe, RJ Hunter instead of Trevor Ariza, Tarek Black, and Zhao Kui instead of Ryan Anderson. Um... Let's see here. Kavon Looney. I do like Looney. He's been really good for value. I will probably end up playing him tonight. Uh, he has some upside, and then he's been good for value. And he should get some garbage time. Um, Iggy is fine, but that game cannot get anywhere near a blowout, or they're pulling Iggy. So just keep that in mind. Winslow, Harkless, Tucker, Iso Joe, they're kind of all in the same category of they're fine, but I probably won't go there. Moving on to power forward. I already talked about Anthony Davis. I like Anthony Davis more on FanDuel and DraftKings, but I like him both places. Uh, LaMarcus Aldridge, really good play. I just doubt I go there. I mean, he's been shooting lights out, and there's nothing saying that he can't shoot lights out still and again, but now he's to the price where he's going to have to get you into the 50s. If he doesn't get you into the 50s, he's not meeting value. Um, he's going to chuck. He's going to shoot it over 20 times. Don't worry about that. It's just does he make a high percentage he has to make 40%. He he has to make 40% of his shots. If he makes anything less than 40%, you're kind of screwed. And he really needs to get the double-digit rebounds, uh, which he has not been doing. Um, I like him, just probably won't play him. Same with Kevin Love. He's another guy I like, probably won't play him. Bam and uh, Whiteside are out. That means Olenek and uh, next tat James Johnson become interesting. They're my next two favorite plays. Probably locking in Kelly O. Probably get 30-plus minutes of Kelly O. And then we'll probably get 30 minutes of James Johnson. Next tat has been kind of all over the place. He has, like, triple-double upside. And, um, and, I mean, he can get you some insane points. But it's kind of hard to to tell like he's probably good for value um it'll probably be a little pace up for them against cleveland i like him but he's gonna have to get me 36 37 probably on this slate so i don't know i i probably end up with him without draymond green playing tonight let's be honest i'll probably end up with him but 
it's an interesting discussion to have. Um, other than that, Dwight Powell is fine. Millsap is fine. They've got a win, so Millsap is fine. Um, Noah Vonley. I like Noah Vonley. I like Jordan Bell. We already talked about that I like Kavon Looney. Um, Vonley, a little bit better of a play on FanDuel. He's 4,400 over there. Uh, Jeff Green is fine. I believe he got pretty much essentially ruled in tonight. He will play. Uh, and then check Diallo. I do like Diallo at uh, 4K. Um, pretty solid play. Uh, he's hit value or exceeded it in four of the last five. And then if you go back to the last time he played over his like minimal minutes he was getting, he got 33 in that game. So it's really five of his last six when he got uh, quality minutes. So I, I will be looking to check Diallo, and I'll be locking him in if Miritich gets ruled out. Uh, final play at power forward is Tarek Black. I don't even know where he is down here. Thon Maker also got ruled out. I'm sorry, he's doubtful for for Milwaukee. If that changes anything for you personally, um, there he is, Tarek Black, three thousand dollars. Probably will play him on DraftKings. I don't necessarily think he's necessary on FanDuel, uh, but I will probably end up playing him on DraftKings uh, if if it comes to that. I don't know if I'll need him. Um, I haven't built a lineup since Draymond Green got downgraded to Doubtful, so I don't really actually know what I'm doing with him yet. But as of when he was in the lineup when Draymond Green was in, so take it forever, whatever you want on there. So center, we went over a lot of the power forward slash centers that I liked. I like DeAndre Jordan. He's my favorite center on the slate. I just don't think I'm going to play him on DraftKings. He's in my FanDuel lineup right now. But I doubt I play him on DraftKings. Jokic, they've got a win. I kind of like him. He, he got a price increase off a bad game, so I'm not really, I don't really like that. But uh, it's not a bad matchup against Jonas Valanciunas. Uh, don't like Jonas. He probably gets run off the court tonight. Nurkic is interesting. 6,700 against some sort of Brow, Emeka Okafor, Diallo. I, he, I, I would assume he's going to have to play. I'm assuming we'll get 30 minutes of him. The question is, does he meet value in those 30 minutes? I mean, we could get this, and then you're just nightmare, because he needs near 35. But uh, if he's going to get you the 42, which... 42 is viable here. If he played the rest, if he grabbed two more rebounds, maybe got two more buckets, he would have been close. Um, and then against Cleveland, kind of got run off the court against Cleveland... Played minutes against my... It's just a question of if Nurkic, are you going to play 30 minutes or are you not going to play 30 minutes? If you play 30 minutes, you're going to meet value. If you don't play 30 minutes, you're not going to meet value. So I probably won't go there and cast games. I just won't risk it. Um, and that's pretty much it for centers. Um, yeah, there's not many centers that I like. I mean, you can take a random shot on JaVale McGee or Zaza Pachulia and hope they get there for you, but... I'm not really a fan of just taking random shots and praying that that, that I picked the right Golden State big man. Uh, Bell and Looney are much more consistent for me. But uh, that's going to do it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry for the late upload. Like I said, I had an issue where it just, like, cut off midway through my recording. And it still had my voice, which so I guess I could up uploaded it. But it was kind of messed up. Uh, the voice was even messed up at times. So I just decided to re-record it. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Check back. We'll have baseball tomorrow. And then I'll have more thoughts on baseball on Thursday. We'll be uploading some franchise from MLB The Show 18 along with Road to the Show. So keep an eye out for those if you're interested in those. So I'll catch you guys in the next episode or next breakdown or whatever. Uh, so I will catch you guys then. Peace out.